So here we have a technologically innovative device. But how to build it repeatedly, say 20 times in a row? That's the job of product engineers. They are a kind of bridge between developers and standardized production. I see. They must tune up prototypes designed by developers so that they are suitable for serial production. Precisely, and that's not a joke. The microscope consists of many parts, thousands or even tens of thousands of parts in one device. The logistics department usually orders about 8,000 items from 400 suppliers for the production in Brno. Some items are so special that their delivery takes up to 200 days. FEI in Brno must plan and buy material for more than 50 production models. Therefore, precision is necessary even in this case. No part must cause a delay. 99% of material delivered to the warehouse is sorted to the shelves on the same day to be available for production. Production workers must be trained and work instructions must be prepared for them. Well, that's how it is in every company. Sure, but let me give you an example. If we printed out all the instructions for one microscope on common office paper, we would get a pile equal to several thick books and we have included only one specific set of accessories for one customer in the calculation. I admit, this is not quite assembly line production. In this respect, the electron microscope can be compared to a luxury watch. It is actually very precise manual work. How long does it take to make these Swiss watches? The production of the entire system takes from three weeks to five months, depending on its complexity. 